if he's dominant enough on the offensive side of the ball, then, you know, guess what the other team's going to have to do? They're going to have to try and figure out how to match up with him, too. Number one, Zach Eady out of Purdue. He is seven foot four with a seven foot 11 wingspan. He averaged 25.2 points per game, 12.2 rebounds, 2.2 blocks, two assists, shooting 62.3% from the field. A lot of people are really high on Zach Eady, two time National Player of the Year, two time Kareem Abdul Jabbar Award winner, two time first team All American. How are you guys feeling about Zach Eady? I mean, I at 22, if he dropped to 22, I think it's definitely worth a flyer on him. I do. I think size-wise, he's there. He can score around the basket. He's good around the basket. He's efficient around the basket, obviously. Can shoot free throws, so there's no hack-a-shack thing going on with him towards the end of the games. Mm -hmm. um, he can block shots. Now, he's going to be limited on the perimeter, especially – uh, defensively like that's just not going to be a thing that you're looking for him to to be excellent at but you know listen you got Nurk who's also not great defensively on the perimeter uh you can work around things like this and if he's dominant enough on the offensive side of the ball then you know guess what the other team's gonna have to do they're gonna have to try and figure out how to match up with him too mm -hmm. and so perimeter based yeah it might hurt but down low uh, he might be able to do some damage he's the old school big and, you know, in the, in the league where they're trying to phase that kind of person out, he's one of the ones where you're like, I, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued by him. I mean, he's a heck of a basketball player, man. I just don't think the time is matching up right. I think he's just playing basketball in the wrong generation. Yeah. <laughs> like if he was, if, if Zach Eady was playing ball 25 years ago, mm -hmm. I mean, all-star type dude. First but, round, first round pick, first pick. Yeah, 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 first pick. Yeah. Sean Bradley type stuff, right? Yeah. Better than Sean Bradley. Yeah, but no, th this kid can play. He can shoot. You can see him in the combine. He was he was letting it go from three. He's got a nice stroke, good mechanics, shoot free throws. You can't play him off the court. Defensively, you're going to have some liabilities. But I just don't know that with this team, the way we're constructed, the way we're trying to play with booting holes and more three-pointers and the mid-range mafia that we got going on, I think we just if you took him, you'd be taking away most of his opportunities to really make an impact offensively. So for that reason, I pass. But I'm not saying he's not a good basketball player. He'd have been perfect on last year's team. Yeah. Yes. Because they were just different like, squad. Yes. Slow the ball down. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last year's squad. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, the, the defensive mobility thing is the concern. I do think he's actually a little bit quicker than people realize. Um, I was looking up this this stat that someone had posted on Twitter, and it's true. Like, of the 66 players that were 260 pounds or heavier that did, like, the lane agility drills at the Combine, he had the sixth and the ninth fastest lane agility times, and nobody in the top 10 was within 20 pounds of ED in terms of their huh. weight. So he's not – He's I'm not sitting here saying he's actually really quick. He's not. But he's deceptively fast for his size, um, and again, like seven foot eleven wingspan is just terrifying. Insane. Um, so I do think he might be able to fare a little bit better defensively than maybe people think. But like he is offensively that traditional back to the basket big, and that kind of amounts you to more of a situational role player than like a true starting center. I think to your point, like if he falls to twenty two, you really have to think yeah. about him because. This was the most dominant dude in college basketball, yeah. one of the more dominant college basketball players we've ever yeah. seen. Like, And he gets to the line a ton just because he's so much bigger than everybody. I think he was 11 attempts per game. Yeah. He also uh, got that Purdue whistle. Yeah, well, he did. But <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. But um, he made 82% of his shots at the rim. Which yeah, is that's stupid. Insane. Yeah. Like, that's he's, – he's, he's very good. If he falls to 22, you got to think about him. But to your guys' point, I do think there are bigs that – have skill sets that more fit what the Suns need out of a backup big, namely like athleticism, rim running, lob threat, defense, that yeah. type of stuff. One of the things that I think a lot of people have talked about him is the three point shooting. Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. and he is very insistent that it will be a part of his game in the NBA. I believe you too. Uh, some people question. So that's, that's the question. Are you, are you feeling good about him being able to implement that into his game at I, the NBA level? I do. Free throw numbers usually indicate you can shoot the three ball. Mm -hmm. He can shoot free throws. And then again, watching extensive tape on him and really locking in on the combine stuff. 
you can see he's got a natural jumper. It's pretty clean. The mechanics are there. Um, I can so see him coming into the league and actually being a pretty damn good three point shooter. Um, when he when he it's just gonna depend on how many you're gonna allow him to put up. Mm-hmm. If he's got freedom with a team, yeah, I can see it. I think I think he can shoot the ball. I think he's got a ways to prove it, but the stroke at the combine looked good. Yeah, like he's got. I don't think it'll be there in year one or maybe even year two, but it could be a situation where a couple years into his career, Work suddenly dude it. steps back and hits a three, and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then we're if he's on our team, we're really excited because yes. it's like, oh shit, there it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs>